For the next courses in this foundational series, we have two more still lives to explore. First of them will be the vase with the oranges. Here we explore textures, the rough texture of the oranges against the smooth metal texture of the vase. The second still life is an extension where we are now going to be drawing blueberries with their soft texture against a rusted metal cup on a wooden board. So we are adding a little bit more complexity as we go through the courses. Both of these lessons will introduce values as they are represented in textures. We will also understand form and shape as we draw these objects. To enroll in these courses, please find the sign up link below. If you've missed the live event, don't worry at all. We've always got a recording for you. You can find it in our courses page for which the link is also in the description below. The courses page has an additional homework section as well as extra resources to enhance your art journey. Welcome to an art journey to knock your socks off. All right, so I've got a couple of uh, materials here. I'll kind of walk you through the stuff that I t typically use, uh, stuff that you can typically find uh, in a store as well. Uh, these are charcoal pencils. You can see I've not even uh, sharpened them. I don't use the charcoal pencils per se. I am more of a stick person. I just like uh, using this it's faster again the reason I don't use a pencil is because if it's with a fine tip there's only uh, details that I can do with this um, so I typically stay away from them but I do have a set obviously so there's that that's the beginning um, these are compressed charcoal uh, sticks they come in packs typically I like the general uh, brand for this uh, they work well. It's a nice, uh, good coloring stick, and I like it. And mine's broken off, so I break it off into pieces if I want to touch different areas. So again, don't be scared to break off your things. Uh, it's okay. You can work with these. A um, couple that I like, this is a pencil. Uh, this one's broken, but this is a pencil that I really like. It's uh, from Montmartre. It's a woodless charcoal stick. So it has a kind of a plastic covering, so you can hold it without messing up your hands, but it gives you a nice fine tip that a pencil would, and it still gives you enough area. Can you see this entire area is is can be used for coloring. So I, whenever I want to use a pencil, I tend to stick to these. So a tip to give me thin lines and the side if I want to color something um, uh, with a bigger area. So these are. This is another um, tool that I like to use. So this is like my black set. Um, my white charcoal is just a plain white charcoal pencil. Again, I don't use these much except for highlights. I'll show you why and how I tend to use this only for the whitest whites. So I've, I've not used much of this. You can see how the pencil is all full. So and uh, the second important thing would be a kneaded eraser. When you're using a kneaded eraser, use charcoal. Have, a, have one separately for charcoal and have one separately for your pencils. You don't want to mix them up. The kneaded eraser, uh, the charcoal powder is different from your pencil. The pencil is made of a different uh, medium, so you don't want to mix the kneaded erasers. Keep those kneaded erasers separate. So once you use the charcoal, the kneaded eraser is going to get hard and it's going to get completely black like this. So those are the basic materials. And one important material that I uh, really like uh, is a chamois uh, or a chamois, however you want to um, say it. We say it's called a chamois, C-H-A-M-O-I-S. That's the spelling, actually. So it's just a piece of cloth. It almost like uh, leather. I love this for charcoals. Um, it, it usually comes in a light cream color. The more you use it, it's going to get black. And the blacker it is, that's your uh, go-to. That's the most important. I use this to blend, erase, and um, to even uh, if you have a very, very dark layer of charcoal and you want to lighten it, the chamois is going to do it faster for you 
Can you see how it brings it back to the same tone? So the chamois is going to do it faster for you than any other um, eraser I've seen. Not even a paper towel can do what the chamois does. Um, don't wash it. You want to keep it as black as possible, and obviously it's going to dirty your hands faster, but uh, believe me, it's very useful and very versatile. So I do keep it inside a cover um, just because it's, it's it, I've had it for 15 years. You can see how much charcoal I've got in there. All right, so that's my uh, basic set. Whenever I'm starting my um, drawing for charcoal, I use my um, charcoal stick and I actually color the whole paper. It's counterintuitive. I've not seen any YouTube videos that do this, but um, this is a very good step, and I'll tell you why. So I color the whole paper with the side of my charcoal come very lightly. I don't do this uh, very dark. I'm putting down a basic value color. I'm gonna use my chamois, and I'm gonna brush this out and then kind of smoothen this completely. and it doesn't have to be perfect. next step is our rendering. Um, we should jump straight into it. There's no more finicky picking on any of these things, any details. All of that will be done as we render each piece. And don't get ahead of yourselves and then um, push your white on the paper right now. We're going to use the white only at the very end. The next thing we're going to do is uh, darken our um, stem. We're moving to the top of this. the um, leaf. There we go, like that, really lightly. Use your fingers and smudge it in or use your chamois and smudge it in. Um, anything works. Can you see how it appears really black? There's a tiny line coming into the white that's slightly darker than the shadow. Again, that line is slightly is deliberate. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top leaf here. I'm not going to be able to do this in perfect detail. I'll do that with my white charcoal pencil, but I'm still going to erase a little bit of the white around so I get some of the white of my paper back. And then using the same pencil, I'm just adding spots for this uh, leaf. There we go, I've got that piece as well. And to make that look like a leaf, we obviously need a slight shadow underneath it. So I'm gonna use my uh, you can use your pencil 
your hard or your medium to do that I'm just adding a single line underneath that white not a lot not a lot and then it actually has to be gray because this is not going to be gray without a chamois or anything and it's such a small space I'm going to mix my black and white so I did a very thin line of white I'm um, sorry a very thin white line of black and then I'm using my white to lightly grace that black to make it look like gray time for the stem so you can add the white right next to the black and the side of the waist And we are actually done. As promised, here is our published course with this charcoal value studies lesson. This course section has real-time videos of every step separated into sizable chunks for you to look at. You can look at it as many times as you want and view them in any order you want. Additionally, there's resources on the concept taught value studies for extra theoretical enhancement. We also have a homework section. This is to make sure you get the additional practice you need to enjoy the process of creating art. Have fun creating. Until I see you on my next course, this is Sharanya from White Canvas Arts, art at your fingertips.